Hello there everyone, it is Demon Overlord 77 coming at you with an unboxing video. These are the first three of a kind of custom made brick I did when I was over at Preferred Gaming and Trade up in Wolcott, New York. Definitely check them out guys, check them out on Facebook. Um, these were the three Dragon Heist boxes they had in stock, so I snagged them. I also grabbed uh, a Monster Menagerie first generation as well as the Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica box. And then I grabbed three of the Storm King's Thunder, so I'll be doing those videos as well guys, so keep in tune. But we're going to do just these three for today, or for this video, and like I said, I will be doing others, so let's get started here. So this will be my defining thing, whether I will continue purchasing this series or not. I'm probably honestly aiming towards not, because the last ones were super amazing. Um, let's see what we got here. First up we have, okay, a Cranium Rat Swarm. Not too bad. I mean, nice little brains floating there. I've got three of these now, which isn't too bad. I mean, they're nice for a creature swarm. Uh, next up we have the City Watch. This is 7B, so the darker skin variant of the soldiers. I mean... The variant differences is literally one has white skin and one has dark skin, so that's literally the only difference. Nice little club here. Nice buckler shield for defending himself. There's a little badge there. You know, nice character. Useful for a uh, guard in the game. And up here, okay, we have a new mini. So I don't have already in my collection. Uh, we have the Black Viper. She's just got a knight. I believe it's a she. I could be wrong, but uh, she looks like she has that nice face mask there. A little uh, it's painted on or something that helps pop her eyes. Uh, very nice detail though work on her. I mean, she's got a nice little scabbard because they got there. Some nice cloth work of her and leather work there. Little puffy sleeves there. So maybe it's, I don't know. Like I said, don't know if it's a man or a woman. I'm assuming woman. I'm just guessing based on the side, her like, you know, scale and dimensions. Nice little blonde hair and it looks like lipstick. So I'm assuming, but really awesome. I haven't gotten her. She's one of like the uh, higher sought after ones in the set, the special thief of the set. So that's really cool. I got her. And then up here we got a shield guardian. Really simple basis. I mean, I already have one of him, but you know what? Nothing wrong getting a second of this bad boy. It's like getting another golem. It's not the end of the world. Really cool, though. Going on to the next one here. Ah, another repeat. The big dog, and this one's another repeat, and his base work is a little shoddy off, so, you know, a little bit of a ouch from WizKids there. And he's, I'm going to have to probably repair him, so... It's not the end of the world. It just won't take me long to repair this kind of bad boy. So I think I just got to get his three paws in. But a really nice sculpt, though. I do like the sculpt of the lion for d and I've seen this compared to the Jungle of Despair's version for Pathfinder. It is a lot better and cleaner. And it's like facial features execution. So, you know, and I can always use another lion for the battlefield. I mean, what's more terrifying than a lion jumping out of the woods at you? A group of them grabbing your character and pulling you down and eating you. Uh, we also have another city guard here. This is the variant I already have, which is the 4B. This is the one with the sword aimed downward. I've never gotten any of the ones with the spear yet. I mean, that's if I decide to get more wardy, probably so far. I've gotten one mini so far that's new, so I don't know. Well, I see something here I don't think I've seen before, so... Oh, okay. This is a nice new one. We got the awesomeness of the <clears throat> human warlock of the fiend. 20B. So it is a variant style, which is cool. I mean, you see she had this nice dark blue spell here. Definitely a woman. I mean, I assume this is a female. Her, the bust here, the, like, you know, the dimensions seem appropriate. I like the reddening on her staff there. Gives a little bit of color there. I like she actually is also wearing a mask as well, just like the uh, Dark Viper. If we put them here next to each other for side to side. Very similar. But really cool, though. I mean, really awesome. I mean, Viper doesn't have a variant, so she's a one of a kind. He says a nice thing. Um, very cool. I'm liking that that I got a nice uh, special single mini I haven't gotten before. That's cool. Um, up next, we have, oh, another character I never gotten before in the set. This is the uh, captain one. The one is like a pirate captain or just a ship captain. We got Mert, number 10 of 44. Really cool here. I like his like little details. He's very well detailed. Very nicely detailed. I mean, I like it. Like a little shininess on his head there. It gives him a nice little separation nice little tassels on his cape even it's got a nice fur texture to it yeah very cool i haven't gotten mert before and i've seen merts that actually look a little bit more beat up but this one's actually got really sharp details well you know positive his face could be a little bit better definition with his mustache but you know other than that not bad very very good we're gonna open up the last box here i'm probably assuming the big guy and it is gonna be something i've already gotten before because my luck with this series has not been amazing, so I'm going to try to leave him the last and get to him as I get to him. 
Next up, we have another repeat. This is the white face Vargil. I already have this one. Not that it's always bad to get even the same Vargil because Vargils travel, I guess, like little. Wait, are they birds? Flocks? What's what's a group of heads called? Ah, anyway, maybe someone comment. Let me know. Well, you know, I guess a flock of Vargils. Oh, and here's the one we don't have. This is the bartender one I heard that was in the set. I only recently heard about him being in there, but because I looked him up on the website. Let's see. His name is Derna. Or Durnham. Really cool dude here. I like his, like, red accents here. He's got a nice little uh, mug with some liquid on top. He's got a nice little canister, probably the mead holder or maybe a wine. Very cool. I mean, I have a bar, so now I have a bartender, which is awesome. One thing I'll give Wardy, they do usually do have those cool um, humanoid NPCs and stuff, which, oh, there's another new one. This is the Were Rat I don't have. This is the 21B variety that has the little short or long... Actually, it's kind of a long sword. Probably be a long sword. The long sword variant. I have the other one that has no weapons, and he's just open clawed. And up next, the big dog, we have the crocodile. Honestly, really cool. I don't mind getting crocs. They're awesome. And a little bit of work might be needed on his base there. I mean, I might have to pop him off and reattach him if I if necessary. Oh. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Guess we're going to have to reattach it, rebase him, which was going to happen anyway, but, you know, I guess it's definitely going to happen now. Wasn't that security. I guess the moment I kind of fiddled with it, even with like a little bit of pressure, he pops off. But anyway, um, that's all we got here, guys. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Still a great mini. I'll easily be able to repair him. But, uh, yeah, guys, a little shout-out to WizKids, nice minis. I like these uh, group right here. This group right here are my favorites of the group because I don't have them. I mean, the lion probably have just done the same thing I have with the crocodile, trust me. He's not that much attached either. But yeah, these guys right here are the pride and joy of this uh, purchase because all new people I don't have. I think one of them might be, I think Viper might be rare. I'm not 100% certain. Maybe the human wizard or even the bartender. But uh, yeah, so check me out, guys. I'll be doing two more videos after this one. And like I said, um, check out my podcast for the Dice and Dummies. I am a member of that. Uh, we, please give us a review. We are hungry for reviews. And uh, also, we are affiliated with Battle Bards, um, where we get our sound, a lot of our sound effects and our trail music and background music. And uh, we also have a code for that, DUMB, D-U-M-B, literally as it s sounds. And use that at checkout and get a discount. Not really sure what it discounts, but it does something. Never use Battle Bards, not my department. That's our editors. <laughs> anyway, um, check us out, guys. And also do please check out Minute Preferred Gaming and Trade. They are a little bit smaller than larger life or millennium games in this area, but I want to help make them bigger because they are such a great place, great employees, great stock. They are able to special order you stuff, and they're trying to get into Warhammer maybe. maybe. So if any of you Warhammer fans out there, give them a stop by. Um, they do have some product in there now, and they got, they're got they starting to do maybe a little bit of some paints, you know, things like that. D&D uh, folks definitely stop in. They carry D&D blind boosters now, and they also carry unpainted. So if you want to try your hand at paint a mini, I always recommend it. I find it therapeutic. And uh, that's all, guys. So uh, stay tuned and join me again. <laughs>